I'm on my MacBook Pro 2008, and this is going to be a, a fairly short video. Um, what I want to find out is, having been on El Capitan, is trim support enabled? I've heard that with El Capitan, um, trim support is now enabled for hard drives that are... Um, not Apple hard drive. So we're going to have a look at the system report. And if I go down to SATA drives, I can look inside my SATA here and I can scroll down. Here is, <clears throat> excuse me, my uh, 240 gigabyte uh, SATA drive that I installed earlier. And I can see right here that trim support is not turned on. Now, there's a couple of different ways that this can be enabled, but um, what I found to work the best, because I have tried a couple of different avenues to get it enabled, is a tool called uh, Trim Enabler. And pretty straightforward to install and set up. I have it here on my thumb drive. I'm going to go ahead and set up Trim Enabler and throw it in applications so it's now installed so I can close the installer and eject the trim enabler uh, DMG file and I'm gonna go ahead and run trim enabler and of course I get the warning that it's an application from the internet so I've got to put in my password And I'll do the install. And it says, hey, there's a newer software. I say no thanks. It says it's not enabled. So I'm going to go ahead and enable Trim. And it says I have to reboot. So I'm going to close Trim Enabler and Apps. And I'm going to stop the video but I'll be right back. One thing to mention if you're ever installing uh, Trim Enabler on your Mac, uh, it took extra long for the system to reboot. It was actually on a black screen for a good minute and a half. So I kind of got concerned, but then I remembered uh, I had put an SSD into my uh, MacBook Pro 2011 and it did the same thing. So not too worried. Um, so I'm going to look at the system report again. Hopefully we're going to have good news. I go to the SATA SAT Express and scroll down until I see my drive. And now I have trim support enabled. Now I can't say whether or not this will make the drive faster. Um, if you watched my previous video, you know what the benchmarks were. So I have heard people say that it makes it faster, but I personally don't believe that. Um, let's put it to the test right now. We'll run Black Magic and have a look. Keeping in mind, I am running a video capture, but we should be okay. Um, so, in a, my previous video, I was getting about 114 to maybe 140 megabytes a second. So, let's start the test and see what happens. Eh, not too bad. I'm, I'm going to go with average. Um, for those of you looking at the score and freaking out, well, you know, I got the cheapest uh, SSD that I could knowing that this is not a SATA 3 controller, so it's not the newest. It's not going to run at 6 gigabits a second. Um, and also added to that, compared to 36 megabytes a second, I'm pretty happy with it. So if you enjoyed the video, uh, like and share. Trim Enabler. Um, and the Black Magic Disk Tester are available in the Apple Store, so at least I think Trim Enabler is. I can't actually remember anymore. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, um, like, share, and hopefully you'll subscribe. I'd like to see you again. Thanks a lot.